Addison's West Skating Rink, Federal Way, Washington. Lil Huxley, disco, whatever, skate. And then Van Halen Jump came on and infiltrated my mind. It made me float. I was like, oh my God, I've never heard sounds like this. Hey, if you know me, you know I love David Lee Roth. Van Halen Jump, oh, I've been listening to it every single day. Oh my God, I love that fucking song. I wish we could play it. Yeah, YouTube, I mean, all of social media right now is very, very sensitive. We really got to watch our step. Well, it's a highly recommended song. Everybody should turn this off right now and head over to nah, Jump nah, nah, Van Halen Jump on off. YouTube. Watch the video. The video is bonkers. It's so fucking great. It'll put a smile on your face no matter what mood you're in. Oh yeah. David Lee Roth era. Yeah, those frequencies and sounds really got me. It got little Hux back in the day. Like I was just stunned. Like, this is real? These sounds are real? This is a song? It was fucking mind blowing. I mean, you gotta love David Lee Roth. Rest in peace, Eddie Van Halen. Oh yeah, what a bummer. Rest in peace, Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> I uh, take these nightly walks up to the convenience store, you know, and something always happens. The other night I was in there and the last customer left and there was a guy working that I didn't recognize, you know, he's like filling a shift and he started unloading, just talking about how busy they were and how terrible it is that day and all this shit. Oh damn, dude, a bad day. Actually a horrible day. I was like, I can't believe you're, you're here alone working this shift. You have to restock, you have to help the customers. You got to do all this by yourself. It's insane. Yeah, definitely. That guy's probably doing the job of like three people all at once, you know? Yeah, and Uber Eats picks up there. I mean, Uber Eats is picking up from the uh, convenience store and he was telling me how people cancel the order and then they show up anyway, so they're basically ripping the place off. But it's costing him like his time and all this shit, shit you know? Like, whatever, he was getting into the weeds with it and it was great, you know? And he just looks at me and he goes, dude, you know what? I think I need to, I need to take a fucking smoke break. So he fucking walks out with me and we're just standing in front of the store for like five minutes and he's just unloading like, how shitty it is working there and how fucking how people are and all this shit. It was it was fucking awesome. Uh, it doesn't sound awesome. <laughs> no, the awesome part was just sitting there listening to him. And all I would just say once in a while I was like, yeah, yeah, I totally get that. Like I was just like, yeah, fuck yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. Like it was it was great. I just he just got to unload. And at the end he was like, thanks so much for listening to me or whatever. You know, I was like, dude, fucking that was the greatest part of my day. It was so fun. Uh, people got to let off steam once in a while. Oh, oh, one more thing about Van Halen Jump. Um, you have to watch the video. Go and watch the video. Like, they're having such a great time. They're just total goofballs in it. And, like, like Eddie Van Halen's like, dude, he just looks like he's having so much fun. They just look like they're having a great time. Go check it out. Why are you bringing up old shit? I mean, uh, wait, are you kidding? I'll stop the podcast right now. Wait, what? Are you serious? Or... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna stop the podcast. Oh, okay, okay. Look, I smoked a joint before I came in here, and uh, uh, I can't uh, tell if you're uh, being uh, serious uh, or not. Uh, um, yeah, I am. Uh, uh, okay, anyway, we're gonna pretend that um, that I'm doing just fine, and I feel great. And, uh, uh, you're doing yeah, just dude, I love Van Halen, fine. and this is fucking fun as fuck, right? <laughs> you should love Van Halen, and you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Paranoia? No, no, stop it. Go lay down. Paranoia, go lay down. Yeah, paranoia, go lay down. I use that one on anxiety a lot. Anxiety? No, no, no. Go sit in the corner, go behave, go lay down. No, anxiety, no, no, go lay down. <laughs> oh shit, you are high, I can tell now. Don't point it out to anyone, just act normal. On that jump video, David Lee Roth does like a high kick, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. He's all aerobic in it, dude. He's just like mugging for the camera. He does a flip in it. It's crazy. Team David Lee Roth. I am definitely in David Lee Roth's corner. Oh, I just remembered why I brought the whole thing up. In the comments, uh, somebody wrote, there's a rumor that a woman had sent David Lee Roth um, a letter that said, if you don't marry me, I'll jump off a bridge. And this was his response. <laughs> that can't be true. Oh, maybe it is true. I didn't Google it, but I'm just gonna take it as fact from now on. We may never know the truth anyway. David Lee Roth is mysterious as the Bermuda Triangle. Hopefully David Lee Roth's pseudo future ex-wife jumped off a short bridge and didn't get hurt. The things we do for love 
let's refrain from throwing ourselves off bridges for love though you know <laughs> she's probably married with kids now <laughs> she definitely is and that that uh distant memory of i almost sacrificed myself to sir david lee Roth. he's a sir is he he's knighted i think he's probably been knighted twice he's probably sir sir david lee roth hmm that sounds about right the world is getting crazier and crazier but if david lee roth is not a sir I don't even know if I know what's real anymore. That makes two of us. Live long and prosper, sir, sir, David Lee Roth.